and welcome back to Visit File Coast. We're at Fleetwood. We're at Fleetwood today and it's not actually Thursday when I'm filming this. It's Monday the 12th of February and it's a lovely day. It's one of those lovely, windy, sunny days in early spring. And there's actually a, a flood warning out today. And it's a really high tide and it's just gone high tide. So this is kind of why we need why we need flood defences and we need beach strengthening works, which it makes it appropriate that I'm here. So I'm on the seafront at the Sea Cadets base, at, which is just at the back of me here, at Fleetwood. And I'm going to go and have a look and see how they're getting on with the compound because it's a few weeks since I came down here to have a look. So I thought we'd, we'd take advantage of the lovely sunshine and we'd come and see what's happening. So don't forget to make sure that you've subscribed, make sure that you've hit the little bell for notifications, sign up for your Visit File Coast email newsletter, and we'll go and see what we can see, see, see. Oh, that's cold. So this is the, the Sea Cadets building. It's a lovely building, that inside. I've only ever been in it once, and I got quite a surprise. The little log cabin cafe, which is home to many a, many a welcome cup of tea, and then Fleetwood is in that direction. So if you carry on straight down there and follow that road, you come out at the Marine Beach and at the um, North Houston Hotel eventually and the Esplanade. And this is where the satellite compound is for the, for the Wire Beach Management Project. So you might remember me coming down here with you a few weeks ago when they were just starting to set the set the compound up and I know that they're progressing with it I spoke to the site manager last week and he said that they were well on well on track and they were knocking about and everything's coming coming together well so they started this in November 2023 by making the access points so Lancashire County Council came along and put these drop curbs in um, there's one here and there's one just a little bit further down there, just up there where that other gate is. So this is this is going to be the out gate. Um, so they're building a big a big teardrop shaped tarmac road. I get skinned if anybody sees me walking in here. There's a big tarmac road coming into the centre of here in a sort of a teardrop shape and this is going to be the compound fear not if this is a field that you would have used for your summertime recreation i know it's a popular popular spot you see lots of people using it um, because it's all going to be reinstated when when the work is finished so one advantage is that there's a nice new tarmac footpath right down to the beach towards the left hand side of the compound there's still some picnic benches there look and there's still quite a bit of grass so if you want to come and enjoy a family picnic this summer and enjoy enjoy the weather and enjoy a bit of running around in fresh air you can still do that there's still plenty of space these guys are out look playing playing golf this is the end of Fleetwood golf course so the building seven groins and putting toe protection in and we'll we'll go up onto the the front and i'll show you so the compound is on schedule to be completed by the end of march this year and the rocks will start coming in from early march onwards so obviously they'll be finishing odds and ends off at the the compound while the the rocks have uh, started to be delivered so they'll come in here and you can actually see that there's a bit of a there's a bit of a teardrop shape in the roadstone they look like they've got the preparation ready for putting the tarmac on top and then the rocks will be unloaded and taken onto the beach in an access road just at the back of the at the back of the log cabin and beach works are going to begin at the end of April this year and should be complete by summer 2025. And they don't mess about, you know, these lads, they're, they're usually on time, they usually knock about, so I see no reason to think that it'll, 
it'll be delayed any more than that. And then by autumn-ish, 2025, the compound will be removed and the ground reinstated. So if you've been down to the Sea Cadets car park recently, in the last few days I would say, you might be a bit puzzled why there's, there's, there's numbers written all over the car park. Well, you've probably noticed that some of the potholes, some of the worst of the potholes, have disappeared. Thank goodness, because last time I came down here, it was like, it was like the rocky road to Dublin. Um, so the guys are uh, doing a bit of measuring down there, they're just at the back of that car, to work out all the levels and then and then that's going to be tarmacked, which will be such a big difference. Because believe me, it's awful to drive on. So this is going to be the access road for the dumper trucks to come down into the, into the beach. So much like the Maiders Chentham Road at the cafe at Cleveland, they're doing exactly the same thing here. So this is the reinforcing rods for the concrete going in and the, the guys just fastening the former together. Um, there's some lovely gabions there just appeared. I like them. I, I quite like quite like a gabion wall. There's this gabion wall. I do like that. And then there's the concrete road, that's the whole road that's going down into the into the beach. And that's gonna be their access for bringing the yellow dumper trucks round into the into the beach so the groins there's a big a big terminal groin at the end down there just just beyond the bridge where the the lake is and then there's there's tow protection all the way along this section of of seawall and then there's a series of groins that take you past Russell Tower. often come down here when it's a high tide and I'm quite surprised how high I mean I know it's I know it's a high tide today <laughs> a high high tide <laughs> um, but it's now two o'clock so it's an hour past it's an hour past and it's still really up to the wall and you can see that it's coming at a glancing angle which is why which is why they're doing this work up here so it'll help to build up the beach and the beach is the sea defence that protects the land from overtopping and from erosion. So it's still going to look a completely natural landscape. It'll still be a beautiful beach to walk on. It'll still be natural and wild. A lot of it will disappear underneath the sand. It will just be a lot more, a lot more secure and a lot more stable. Look at all the little birds, aren't they lovely? A gorgeous day. So work is due to start on site at the end of April and will be complete by summer 2025. And then they'll re remove the compound and reinstate it midsummer to autumn 25. There's an approved traffic route for the, the rocks as they come into as they come into Fleetwood, so they'll come off the end of the A585 at the side of Asda Roundabout, round this outer promenade walkway along Dock Street, the Esplanade, etc. And then they will arrive on site and go back out the same way to the motorway. What a lovely, lovely, lovely afternoon and a lovely spot as well. So I hope you've enjoyed that little look around 
and until next time we will see you later bye for now